Hey, this is Major from Major Honey. I'm here at my cousin's house. Beth. Hey. I got Mitch with me, and I got Trevor with me. And we are getting ready to go through and check all the hives out here. Most of you guys will be familiar with this area. And this will be our first complete go through since winter. All these hives are survivors, made it through the winter. And we're going to get into them and see what we got going on. Never pull from the center. Right. And then that's what you're doing. Makes it leave her. Then you oh, just pull it out. Still got plenty of honey on it. Yeah. I usually, once I pull it out, I just hold the ends, and then you can just spin it around and up like that, so you can look at it on both sides. And then have room on your bench to where you can take and set you set a frame down like that. Right. And it gives you some more room. And then you see they got a lot of pollen right there. Yeah. And then this is Captain. They still got plenty of honey. <laughs> Is this a uh, honey super right here? These are five frame boxes, and that's what I was telling you. This is, we rerun a lot of these five frames because right. it's more together and up for the bees. So is, this is the main nuke box, right. and then these are just two high bodies. Okay, so there's no excluder or anything. No. Okay. No. We don't use excluders. Okay. Awesome. Because I want the queen to go and do whatever she wants yeah, to, wherever yeah. she wants. Yeah, to. that's great. Okay. So I don't worry about that a lot. Um, I didn't know that. That's awesome. People use queen excluders, but. I just don't, you know. Yep. There's not anything honey in this top box. Always put your frames back in the same way you took them out. See, I looked at that and I'll put them back over, and then this frame goes back in here. As in, in the same order, and yeah, and gotcha. the same direction. Same direction. Gotcha. And then you just put your hive tool in there and pry, right open, because they will they'll have them sealed together. And then you'll just clean this off for burr comb. They'll fill spaces up with wax. You can just scrape that off to help keep it clean. It'll make it easier on you in the future when you start taking frames out. You don't have to use a lot of smoke, just a little bit of smoke to As Beth's coughing over there, I'm not. <laughs> just use a little smoke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was smoking. Yeah. yeah. There's your cat brood. Yep. Okay. And then. You can see a lot of drones there. Too. Yep. Big old guy. Yeah. And then there's there's some drone cells right there too. Yep. And then so they got a lot of pollen up here. You look down here. Yep, larva. Yep. Larva, and then see how they get older. Yeah. Those are the older ones up here, yep. and then they get younger down to the end. Yep. 
If you look down in there, you might even see an egg. Basically, it looks like a little piece of rice. See how it glistens in there? See how shiny it is. Yeah, it really is shiny. Yeah, this whole frame's full down through there. The sun's not quite out good on us. It's easier to see when the sun's right, behind yeah. it. But there's eggs in, in there. Yeah, and larvae. So you can see I the can bigger larvae right it. here. Yeah, but then as you get farther away, then Egg. you're going to see the eggs. Yeah. Any questions as we're going? Okay, cool. Because that'd be beneficial to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So you were saying that that was the, the previous one was possibly looking like it was going to swarm, well, just because it's so cool. Yeah, they're, they're running out of space, basically. Yeah. Okay. And when all that cat brood hatches out, it's going to be phenomenally large then. Yeah. yeah. This is a, a rare uh, ten frame one you got. Yeah, <clears throat> this is the only one. Well, there might be some other ten frames here because <clears throat> because it was equipment they had, so they just used what they had kind of thing. Right. But this ha had to do a ten frame one because of the log. Gotcha. Because the eight wouldn't fit on top of it. So this log has got like it's hollowed out. Yeah. Inside. Just left over from last year where they so they got they got growing room playing on, on this one yeah these look different to me for some reason yeah they probably, look smaller they probably yeah because they are you're gonna that's the cool thing about it you could have many different varieties yeah. in the same yard i mean they're 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 noticeably smaller See, they're not too excited. They're actually pretty. Yeah, they seem pretty, pretty mild. Nice. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm considering I'll just drop the frame. Yeah.
Yeah. You got him. Are you putting this in the bucket? No. Yeah. So these didn't have foundation in them. This is just them going for it. Yeah, these frames had foundation in them. Oh, they yeah. did? Okay. Yeah. And see, there's actually frames down in the back. Oh, no way. Yeah. And so you, Long ways. Yeah. And these also have the... This box also has, like, the, the divider. Um, yeah, these have the spacers in them. What's well, actually a... 10 frame box but it has nine frames with the spacers in it. So these ones that are uh, like diving into these cells. Yeah? There's your queen photo over there on that one. Yeah, there she is. Wow. Yeah. Oh, there's another so what, these that are diving yeah. into these holes. They're cleaning them? They're cleaning it, they're doing housekeeping. Yeah, look at all the eggs right through there, can you see them? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And see how it's just a little grain of rice, all yeah. right? Those are one day old eggs, okay? Right. And so you know the queen's there. Yeah. You can stop. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha. The ones that are housekeeping, are those young, like some of the youngest yep. bees? That's like the, their first right. job. Housekeeping is the first job. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not going to disturb them any further because yeah, I've seen eggs. Yeah. <clears throat> and then you come back and check on them in a couple weeks mm -hmm. or a week. The, the thing about it is you can check on them as much as you want to, really. You know? Yeah. When I first started, I, I'd look at them at least once a week. Just because it's fun, you know. Okay. All right. This box is clean, right? Putting in in here, you're putting the uh, sugar, sugar water. water. Okay. Well, you can see they look pretty good too, man. This is yeah. three boxes high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're seeing this many bees on the top box of three high. Yeah. After the winter, yeah. is great. Wow, that's now, amazing. This is a, this would be a hive that you could move into an eight frame immediately, pretty much. Got you. But you'd have to move it into a double eight. Because you're gonna have 15 frames here. Gotcha. So you yeah. move it into a double eight. Gotcha. Yeah. And then you would have your nuke box and stuff and, and high bodies to make you another split and get them, you know. See, now we wintered them like this. Right. This has been like this all winter. And you notice that a lot, most of them are, same at my yard. Yeah. Is we find out that they, we find that they do better in five frames for the winter. That makes sense. So did you, I mean, they've obviously, you kept them in five frames throughout the, the year and, and then kept them over winter. But now that they're in there, they've survived, they can be moved into two eights. Yeah. And then, um, because I don't like, I have some that I went four high, but it just makes it too hard to manage. Yeah. So you don't want them to swarm on you, so you move them to an eight, you give them more room, and then you start putting your honey supers on to get your honey. Right. But since there's so many bees in here, I'd say this is probably queen right also. Mm -hmm. Some uh, honey, capped honey. Mm -hmm. 
bean pollen there on the outside frame, which is typical. Because usually the brood box is in the seed. Yeah, what they call the brood box. Now, she'll lay as far as, you know, if you start pulling the frames out and you got eggs on this last frame, then it's time to do something. You better do something now, yeah. yeah. Or within the next couple of weeks, because they'll be hatching in a lot of bees. Okay for me to stand in front of the, oh, yeah, sure. the see look now this is the next one. <laughs> yeah. Wow yeah so you see the drone cells. Yeah. Good amount of drone cells and, and then, then cat brood already in the second one over on the top. Yeah. So these... All this drone here. See there's a drone, there's two drones, three drones coming out right now. See it? Yeah. Look at them wiggling coming out. Look. Good morning. And there's one, there's one. <laughs> You flip it over, I'll get it in the light. It'll look better too. Yeah. See, your head's just a wiggle. And all there's two more down here on the bottom side of it too. Oh, yeah. This is right there. See, we got a little head up there. Get one there. One there. There, there, and there. see some eggs right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imperfectly. Yeah. If you have always look at it with the sun behind your head and then you'll have no trouble seeing it. Oh yeah, they are little tiny grains of rice. Yep. So if we wanted to we could stop because now we already we see already eggs. Know that, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we already know that. But that's that's the second frame. Yeah. So this this one is Really going. Shoot down in there and look at the things on the other box. Come over here and look down in there. Yeah. Oh man. It really like so much more I'm um, understanding that it's coming down to population management. Yeah. Especially when you have bees that are this strong. I mean that's the that ends up being the, the whole game. Everybody has the potential to have bees that strong if you take care of Well I during the season.
that is just booming. saw the queen in. That's her. Good spot. Good spot. She's gorgeous. Yeah, wow. Yeah, she's pretty, she looks sparkly. Mm -hmm. Way long. Yeah. Good catch. Can you pull that next one out? Yeah. Take her back in. Where'd she go that quick? She just there she is. snuck right there. She's yeah. There. She is. So there's cat brood all around there. Yeah. And then all this. And this was the side frame, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. That's so great. it's probably full all the way in. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, these are a little bit more. <laughs> They're hitting me in the face. There's a, the big ten frame have it there on the end. Wait till oh, yeah. we get to them. Y'all see the show. <laughs> So what we're what we're doing is just going in, still gonna even though we know that it's a there's a laying queen, we're still going in and just cleaning out the box of the frames and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure they have This is a nine frame in a ten frame box, okay? Yep. Look over here on this one. Right? Yeah. And look at this one. Yeah. Okay. Massively different. Now, look at these frames in here. See? Yep. Yeah. And, and it's colder over here for them, too, right? Like on the edges. So they're going to be. Yeah, that's I, I see I see exactly what you're talking about now. That's a lot of cap tunny right there. No, that's brood. Oh, that I see it right there. Yeah, yep. but that's cap tunny on top of it, right? Yep. But that's Which that's your typical frame. All it's a football. Yeah. Your football, pollen, pollen, honey. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. Or 
already on the outside frame, having a lot of cat brood. Yeah, but it looks like they're they're working from this side over kind of thing, okay. and they've left these two alone. Temperament's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, there's a larvae in there where I just blowed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can see the shine. Yeah. Yeah. You can get over here on this side where we get a little bit more sun on. If you can see them any better that way or not. Yeah, you can see the shine. See how each frame's covered in the bottom? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're doing well and they're queen right. And then she's laid eggs up here. They're all in this area right here. Yeah. And they tilt it to where you can see it with your eye. Can you see? I can't see anything because I got the smoke in my eye now. Yeah, come over, <laughs> come over here behind me, yeah. Okay. Kind of walked right into that one. See them all in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can see that. That's great. Can you? Yeah, like right in here, you said. Yeah. Yeah, I see them. Smaller than the last hive that showed me. So, since she already has eggs up here, and there's a 
lot of these in the bottom. Yeah. Then they're perfect for right now. Yeah. They got, they they got, got plenty of room. room. Yeah. Now, in a week, it'd be a whole different story. You know, you'll start seeing a lot more cat brood and stuff, and then depending on where they're at, then you'll start deciding on what you want to do about it. YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> They're watching this video and be like, I said, yeah. 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 kitchen where the bathroom is. Taking the furniture out. <laughs> They're sticking in the foot up. Yep, yep. They're like uh yeah, they it. Yeah, exactly. Because I think uh it's supposed to take some things there's a fire. Yeah, so they're trying to make it all out and cool it off. Oh, I tried to What's their motive? 
pollen. Just trying to get pollen. Yep, that's right. They like pollen. And see, I, this is the first frame I pulled out of this one. It's full of eggs. What we got? Oh. Like ducks in a row. Just nestled, nestled in there. They did. Oh, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit that one out. <laughs> Find some eggs. This is the first frame I pulled out of this one. Oh yeah, I see him. This frame's got a bunch of caps on it as well. Thank <laughs> you. 
time you want to take your stop box off and clean all that up. They've been doing a lot up there, you know. Mm -hmm. Trying to clear them out so you can see what's underneath. Yeah, you can see I see some eggs underneath. Okay, yeah, I see them. I brush my teeth this morning so my breath ain't too bad. So yeah, you should do that away from both. That's just a, to me a more gentle way to move my way so it's not running.
show somebody a queen. Yeah. How many times can you show somebody a split? Because I do it the same way. Or, you know, well, it's hard to find different circumstances to make the channel better. Yeah. I think there's like, um, there's different ways to uh, maybe tag some of your footage as you're going through. And then, so if you're like, okay, well, if I tag spotting the queen in every single time yeah. that I'm coming out here, if I tag, you know, cleaning off uh, drone stuff, then I can make, you can go back and grab that footage and make full videos out. Like, we're gonna talk about like, how to spot the queen in this video. Or we're gonna talk about like, uh, cleaning off drone, like, cleaning drone cells off the bottom of the frame in this video. And you could maybe, and you could over, you could narrate over it. Um, so there's like, there's other ways you could kind of. Uh, and then another thing that I find difficult is time. Yeah, I know, yeah. You know, it takes a while to really get in and edit videos. Yeah, because you know it takes a while to edit and and you know to work. You know, it'd be different. I guess it's on the job. I think, you know? Yeah, exactly. I I really like the video. I I really like just. Wa I don't mind the 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 dead, the dead air. If I can, if I'm like just looking at the bees. Um, like for me, it was really, it was really fun. The, the shots where you're just showing a frame, yeah. and as somebody who's learning, I'm looking and being like, okay, I'm starting to understand the difference between what, what capped honey and capped brood looks like. You know, and that that was super helpful for me. It seems really elementary because you know it so 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 instinctively, but for somebody who's new, being able to see a video where you just are looking at a frame for a while was was super you know, helpful. I've, I've had a lot of people. Not a lot, but I've had several uh, comment that they like my teaching style, that, you know, yeah. simplistic and, you know, everything. Yeah. See, I, if I see how it is, I'll have to try to kill them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So these hive beetles are basically anywhere there's, be there's beehives. Right on. Okay. Yeah, there's... Uh, there's different ways to deal with them, and, and it is something that everybody can best do. So it's not unique to our area or anything. Yeah. Like that, you know. um, do they, and besides like you know, propagating and then stealing more pollen, do they bring like, are they are they like a, do they bring other kinds of like mites or diseases with them, or is no, it just mostly just Typically, you know, they don't, but they lay eggs, and then the eggs That's turn into a larva, and then it slimes, they're slimy, so it slimes the pollen, and then the bees can't use it. So it's, it's basically ruining. It ruins the beeswax. Yeah, yeah gotcha. And then, it's There's another one. That's right. Yeah, it's basically living with, you know, a stinking varmint, you know, or a, Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then, you know, it will cause your bees to, you know, they don't they don't like it if they can't get control of it and don't like it, they'll just leave. I didn't see any. Yeah, we got more honey. I'll leave out of here. Mm -hmm. jumped out at me right there. Yeah, there they are. Oh yeah, you can definitely see them right now. And when you got one day old eggs like that, then if you got time, you can actually look on the same frame. A lot of times, if you find eggs that new, your queen might still be on the frame if you right. pulled it out at the right time or whatever. Right. That one's okay. That one's okay. I got some like that too, mm -hmm. but you might want to try one of these too and yeah, see which one you like better. Because totally. as far as using it for the lever, the yeah, pull the frames up you, like you see me do it a lot. Yeah. I found I found a bunch on Amazon. Dude. 
it's about two for like seven bucks. Really? I'm yeah. Probably you have to do some, quite a bit of hunting because the first one costs up like fifteen dollars. Yeah, yeah, but you can find them for two for seven. Yeah. Yeah. So good, uh, year for, uh, okay. I guess. Yeah. You need some more pellets. I think the smoke is about to go out. Yeah, shake it up a little bit. See, they use uh, smoker pellets, like for your smoker. Yeah, yeah. Like for your smoking meat or whatever. Yeah. They work pretty cool too. Jonathan, I do need a few, buddy. Yeah. See, I got to shake it up a lot of times to get a little bit more out of it. I use pine needles, yeah. just cause I don't want to buy the buy these. Yeah. You know. But they, but it works great, and uh, they'll last for a long time too. Go ahead. You can just lean it up against the hives, what I usually do. Can I lean this one? Yep. So you look at the hive needles in this one. Start on just as long as you start on one side or the other. And now these have the, yeah, the you won't there. see those. So then that's when you use your lever to pull them up. Just sort of break the loose kind of thing. And then you, there you go, just move to the other side. sort of rake them a little bit and the bees will carry them out yeah. and then just take it and there you go roll it up and then get used to leaning back yeah. and having the sun behind you, got you, got you. and you might want to walk over to this side and then just lean it up with the sun behind your head and then you'll be able to move the frame to where you see if there's any eggs or anything in it yeah i'm not seeing anything in there. okay so for this one should I just set it, uh, should I try and set it right here, or is it? Yeah, this, usually we have the, they're on a bench, but we ran out of bench space. Usually I put them on the bench like normal, but for now, I'm going to hold it for you. So okay. Or Jonathan will hold it for us, and then. Same spot. Yeah. And that'd be 
it's okay to move the ones on the end a little bit, but I don't like moving the crude frames away from one another. They're in the top corner up here. Is that where they're at? Yeah, I see them right there. I see them. Yeah, I see a bunch of them all through there. They look pretty spanking new. Yeah. So are they standing up like a little piece of rice? They are, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a queen around here somewhere. Yeah, so flip her over and look at the other side since you already got the frame out. Swing it back down the same way, or you go. First official inspection, yay! Yeah, it felt really great actually. Yeah. It felt comfortable and holding the frame wasn't in like, I didn't feel as jittery. I was so worried I'd be jittery. Yeah. Great, thank you. Are these, um, these are like wasp traps or? video on there and uh, it's how you can catch them then big hornets. Gotcha, yeah. That's all the hornet will take your beehive out. Really? Yeah. They carry off bees and feed them to their young. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you know, I've watched them uh, fly down and grab one and fly off with it. Wow. And then I practice my backswing with my tennis racket. So, so that's what I do with them too. And then set up these traps. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Those two. Yeah. I've done this line. I've done this whole line. Plus one up there at the 
And y'all are still on that. We're, we're saving this one for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm about to do it right now. You missed me. <laughs> This is gonna be the mean one you said? Hey, let me make it mean. <laughs> mean or uh, we're, we're, uh, what's the word? Losing ourselves in the bees? Yeah. We don't even know. Exactly. All right, Mr. Coyne's you missed a good. You missed a good shot earlier. We were showing the progression of the sizes of the bees. Oh, really? On this other frame. It was really good. She should be. I would think she would have been on this one. Like We've got another box. Well, she ain't on the next two frames. <laughs> She was stuck with me now. See all the little yeah. teeny tiny ones? Yeah. Is that yeah. her? That, well, no, it's light in color. It's yeah, probably yeah. just hatched. The last one. There's the queen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you beat me to it. You got it. You got that one. <laughs> Boy, score. You got that one. <laughs> I just happened to glance down there for a second before you. Where'd she go? Awesome. I She's right her. there. Oh, yeah. There she is. Yeah. Cool. Right, girl so we can put the box away then. Yep. That's cool. That's funny. We're up here playing find the queen and he wants us to work. <laughs> well, that's awesome. So every one has had. Except for one, I think we didn't see um, a queen. Yeah, this little tiny one, and I didn't see a queen. Okay. But that's okay. Did you guys see? Um, we saw babies. We saw lots and lots of babies. Lots of babies. No there queen. are lots and lots of eggs. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Hiding under the traps. About four of them came out. Mm. One point down there. I think I see some in the cells right there. Yeah. Yep. Something's this? happened to them. This is a textbook beetle. Uh, Oh. Oh, that's 
coming out of these last two. See your queen on. <laughs> get it right there. Come on, get out of the way. No, no. Passion. Yep. Yep. You see yep. it? I see it. Yep. Oh it's yeah. What's what's the the duty of that of her as when she hatches? She's gotta clean out that cell. That's the first duty. Yeah. Well here's one with her backside. That's what I saw. I saw those instead of that. Wow. See right here, deal. she's cleaning. They're no, cleaning they're, theirs. They're cleaning out theirs and they're hatching out theirs. Yep. And they won't help them. With that. To get out. And there's one just starting right there. Breaking through a while. We got one hatching. Let's see if we can find some eggs. These are all, these have got, I don't know how well you can say down there. Eggs? Yeah, eggs. Okay, okay, well, yeah. Good. The queen's here somewhere. Yeah. Might need to do something with the beetles. Yeah, can you see down there now? Oh, yeah, you can see them. So she's right here somewhere. So out of out of uh, 27 hives. you stopped by to watch our videos like subscribe thank you and we'll see you next time